have fun. See you Sunday. Love you both. Love you, Love you too, hon. Carolyn just dropped this off. And here we go. We get started to do section G on the PCT. Woohoo! Feel good? Weather's beautiful. Pack feels a little heavy. Yep. Hopefully in a couple of days we won't feel so heavy. <laughs> Green change. Kind of smells like waffle cows. There's the sign to go up to Timberline Lodge. And we just came from down there. We're gonna pick up some trail trash. There's a tampon sitting there. And there's our first real view of Mount Hood. That's the highway that we came from. All the way. All the way up here. Incredible. Whew. How are you feeling, Ed? Good. Doing good. <laughs> There's Mount Jefferson in the distance. And uh, we're coming up to the timber line. This is the halfway mark of our first day today. But uh, yeah, it was pretty nice hiking. A little tough once we hit the sand. We remember that well from last year. But uh, we're having a great time so far. Okay, next time, folks. This is something you don't see every day, people playing in the snow. In July. Heading down. There's the trail. And then, see people over there, that's a nice little lookout. We just stopped for water fill up. Beautiful view of the mountain. <laughs> Gotta kind of throw it on. <laughs> Crossing Little Zigzag. Little Zigzag wasn't running like this last year. What? Because of all the snow. I know. Uh, it does feel good on the feet. Oh, nice yes. job. <laughs> That's the log right there that we did last year for this creek. Now half of it's gone. Huh. And zigzag was not flowing like this last year. All right, folks, till later. Paradise Loop. Laura saying hi. First water crossing, did great.
<laughs> we found the most epic camp spot. We worked for it. We did. <laughs> Beautiful view of Mount Hood and our own personal watering hole. Absolutely gorgeous. I only saw it because I thought Ed fell on the snow. He didn't, <laughs> but I looked back to see if he was there. And he wasn't, and then I saw this spot. The story would have been better if I did fall, and then you found the spot. <laughs> Hello, Mount The sunset tonight is gorgeous. Ed and I are all ready for bed in our pajamas. You can see. So we came up here to watch the sunset. <laughs> Okay, we're heading out of our campground on day two. Morning lore. We had a good night's sleep. Beautiful campsite, the weather was awesome. And now we're on our way. We're gonna try to do 15 miles today. We're leaving Paradise Park. And uh, heading to where? Uh, we're gonna see what Lolo Pass Road looks like for camping. And then if we have enough time, we'll go Sounds good to me. <laughs> we'll figure it out when we get there. All right, till later. Bye. Unimpeded views of Mount Hood from the Paradise Park Loop. And the sun is just amazing. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. There's St. Helens. <laughs> Go up. Go up? Yep. <laughs> Maybe that's why I lead. <laughs> Not the trail. The trail. <laughs> you have much longer legs than me. <laughs> I know that does come in handy. <laughs> There's the trail. We haven't had too many down trees to go through or no. over or under. Been very lucky. Yeah. We're almost to the riverbed. Stuck. Squash. Uh, did you try to limbo? <laughs> no limbo here. <laughs> Approaching the Sandy River. You see all the Karens pointing the way. All right, let's scope it out. We're going to use these logs. Oh, beautiful. There's a teeny tiny log down there, but I'd rather walk on two logs. 
going first? Excellent job. Can't believe it. This crossing used to have two big trees and looks like the snow melt this year knocked this tree into the water. So it is a single tree crossing. In switchback land. Oh. Wave Ed. Hello. <laughs> We've been going up switchbacks now for about an hour, it feels like. <laughs> We're almost to the top. Woo! We got this. Woohoo! Yeah. We made it up those switchbacks. That was really hard. And now we're uh, out of the Timberline Trail area. And on the PCT, we just passed uh, Top Spur Trailhead Junction. And we are headed to our next stream, which will fill up with water. And stop for lunch. <laughs> Till later. <laughs> Holy cow. We just came. This tree is in the way. We walked all the way from down there. To here. That is crazy. We just filled up near this stream. Super buggy. <laughs> so many flies. One's gonna land on my face. And they bite. Pesky little Gorgeous stream. Perfect little water fill up spot. We've got about three and a half miles to camp. What are we, about 13 miles in? Yep. Something like that. See you later, Mount Hood. You're getting farther and farther away. Okay, it's day three. We're leaving the Mosquito Buffet and we're on the road at 10 to 6. The Be earliest we've ever gotten on the road. Because we want to get to Wampum Lake. Is that what it's called, Lore? Wadham. Wadham. <laughs> <laughs> Wampum. Wadham Lake. 
and we got 10 miles so it should be a pretty fast nice easy day yeah hurry before they figure out we stopped yeah, we stopped <laughs> <laughs> that was hard that's awesome You make it look easy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Woo. Looks like we've got a few more. Wow. We were just over there looking at this ridge thinking, are we going over there? Yep. Ooh, there's the tiniest little peak of Mount Hood. We have gone, yeah, we've gotten so far away. Very cool. And we walk. Hmm. Do we go under or over? Oh, under. <laughs> I'm taking an under on this. You're going under? Yeah. Okay. So we took our packs off to go under that tree and that tree back there. So we're stopping for some water. <sighs> yeah, couldn't crawl under that one. Nice view of St. Helens. Ooh, a little hummingbird. Yep, here you go. Wow, Adams. I don't think you can see it on my camera, Rainier, St. Helens. Wow. The gorge. We're almost to Wadham. <laughs> my feet are hurting so bad. My feet are hurting so bad. Where is this lake? Where is this lake? Ow. Ow. We made it! Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, this is it. Okay. Filling up water at the lake. That's the sound of the water going in my water bottle. And that is not me peeing. <laughs> it's so beautiful.
Berkey Lake. <laughs> we made it to Wadham Lake. Now Laura's taking a dip. <laughs> it feels so good. Oh my god. Uh, <sighs> oh my gosh. Watch the boogie monster or the what is it, Lapis monster? Yeah. The Wadham Lake monster. Woo! I'm being attacked by flies. There you are. Hello! <laughs> it is cold, but refreshing. I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> you better not. I saw a crawfish too. Did you? Yeah. People were talking about them yesterday. Here's our campsite. We squeezed in. And that's where we go down to the river. I mean, the lake. Right now I'm drying all my stuff. We just packed up the mosquitoes. Oh God, are so bad that I packed up in like record time. It's going to filter water. We're gonna, ooh, got another one. We're gonna stop for coffee and a bathroom break. A little bit farther down on the trail when the skeeters aren't so bad. Oh, and it's like 85 degrees, but I'm wearing my puffy coat because I don't wanna use the last of my three bug wipes. They are very bad. Mm. Mm. Ah. It's day four. We're leaving Wanham Lake. Having a had a real good night. Except mosquito we but what are you gonna do? There's not much you can do to get away from them. I think it's about 7.15 in the morning. Laura's leading the pack. I just got passed by a couple hikers. We got eight miles to go. We figured we should be there by noon. We're gonna stop for coffee when we get to a less buggy. Uh, area but it's been good so far we're having a blast and uh it got cool last night so that was a nice refreshing change all right till later we left Wadham lake we're about to enter a burn area it's like beautiful and green oh my god it literally just is now burn. That's crazy. Pretty crazy. We're about two and a half miles in today, and we see Mount Adams and Rainier. Walking through this super burned area. Just climbed up here. Got some wind. So pretty. That's the rock I was just standing on. It seems like five minutes ago.
there's the trail. Well, I'm making uh, my lunch now. I'm gonna boil my water, 12 ounces I believe that asks for, and then I'm gonna pour it in and let it sit for 20 minutes. <laughs> and then voila, I'm eating. <laughs> it is our fourth day. We are making lunch at camp. We found a really great campsite. The one we were planning to come to. We're just sitting here. We spoke. We had a great conversation with a couple we met. And you can see my tent there. Ed's tent there. They're airing out. It's about 90 degrees. <laughs> but cross your fingers. We don't have a bunch of mosquitoes yet. Yes. So... We're taking advantage, cooking outside before we go hide in our tents if the mosquitoes come back. All right, as Ed would say, till later. <laughs> we made it to Tea Kettle Springs. That's it. <laughs> About half a mile after our campsite. So we just hiked down here, pack free with all our water stuff ready to fill up. Couldn't tell you why it's called tea kettle, but that's what we're working with. It's our fifth and final day. Laura's about to get some water. What do they call us, Laura? Um, a pipe spring? Yeah. She's filling up her Kanak bag and then she'll filter that water back into her bottle. We met a hiker, stayed in our camp with us, named Chris, and uh, we had a good night's sleep. A little warm, but a lot less mosquitoes, so we'll take warm over mosquitoes anytime. And we packed up mosquito free this morning. It was so amazing. Relaxing almost. Exactly. We weren't near hysteria like we were yesterday morning. But yeah, we're having a blast. Uh, we got our last eight miles to go and we see the river already. Mount Hood's really hiding humid. back there. Yeah, it is really humid. Yeah. Beautiful sunrise. We've got Mount Adams. Oh my gosh, just so beautiful. Ooh, we're getting closer. Hello, the gorge. We can hear the road. We made it. We're so close. <laughs> Unmistakable traffic. The sound of the <laughs> we made it. Just the bridge to do.
Uh, so that's it, folks. Thanks a lot for coming with us. We'll talk to you later.